dog is uh, perhaps like your uh, like your that hand handwriting copy or like your that notebook where at the day end you like to come back and jot down whatever you have done for the day that cannot be replaced by anything else blogger is the best medium today to you know take it through take to its viewers so yeah i think that's the best service i mean that's the best thing that a blogger is doing or catering to its audience by taking them through the taking them through everything that's happening in the society on a very uh, general basis blogging is definitely not such an easy job you know you have to have a more of a style to which you, for which others can notice you know which other can distinguish so definitely not it's not at all a easy job to do trust me people think that being a blogger a food blogger at least which is what i am uh, makes you a food critic there's a lot of difference between critiquing and blogging so uh, that is something to keep in mind actually because uh, basically uh, blogging is sharing your feelings with the people who read and for me that's what it is um i love being a blogger because there are so many perks you are um, that the respect that comes in the respect that brands give you and the kind of uh, that love your readers give you you know when you're sitting at a cafe and and a student of another college comes and says you know i'm a huge fan of your blog and i love reading that it just it feels that you know you impact somebody's life and that really makes a difference to me one of the most important factor that i would say is a pro of beauty blogging is that um you end up doing a lot of new things to yourself which you previously thought that nahi kar payenge and specifically somebody of my age now the best part about being a food blogger is you you're surrounded and you survive on food literally for the whole year long you get to go to these gorgeous new places that's open the old heritage places that you probably have not been aware of. basically your whole world is revolving around food and who doesn't like food right so yeah that's the good part i would say first of all understand what blogging is like blogging is a very vast concept according to us so it's not just wearing an outfit posting it on the internet using millions of hashtags it's not just blogging so i don't know how young people are perceiving this thing as but uh, i hope it is going to be more about uh, sharing experiences sharing uh, thoughts you know there are you know that would be more interesting rather than you know i want to eat out and i want to get a free meal and that's why <laughs> i want to write a blog or i want to earn easy money that doesn't happen follow your heart follow your style just don't follow any celebrity or any other blogger randomly and just have your own identity and follow your individuality that makes you a good fashion blogger definitely all the people who wants to be bloggers there's two or three things i would like to say you one please know your subject no matter what it's tech travel food fashion know your subject research it get educated on that one last tip that i want to give everyone new bloggers upcoming bloggers everyone or bloggers existing bloggers please 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 don't buy likes and followers on instagram i mean you're creating a lot of fake content and making like our lives difficult Bloggers of Kolkata, I would keep Poona Banerjee at number one because she chose blogging as a career when uh, none of us even thought it it was possible. I'd keep myself at number two because I generate numbers and have somewhat made Kolkata bloggers. I'll keep Luxana Kapadia at number three because she comes up with her own narrative every single blog post. Every single blog post I keep reading and she comes up with something new every single time. the blogs run on serious money you have to if you want me to promote your brand it needs to be paid for i don't want the product as you're selling you need to you need to understand that we are also running a company and your products cannot serve uh, cannot run the company and that's where the limitations comes as a blogger initially it's all your investment it's like a business it's like your own brand so you have to invest every brand that you open or if you have your own business like you have to invest in your own business 
also in the starting so it's just like that basically being a guy i cannot rely on blogging as my primary source of income so yes i am coming up with my own fashion designing skills i am coming up with my own men's wear ethnic label so that i can cater my designing into my garments so that others can wear it and wear my style all around i make a lot of money out of blogging i can't help it this is my primary job and uh, i collaborate with a lot of brands that said i work 24 by 7 save 7 days a week i do not have any vocation no it's it's a myth that bloggers are making good money because there's a lot of hard work that's going on we have to see what our viewers like we have to see what the brands want we have to see what our blog caters to We just can't do too many things at once. So I think uh, if you believe in yourself and you keep continuing to do so, the fruits will definitely come, and I hope it's coming our way also. Uh, media, uh, media presence where every day there is a new social media which is coming in. Everyone trying to play a one-up game with other. It will be very tough to predict where blogging will be going. But one thing I can say for sure is that if if someone wants to stay in the game, someone also needs to up his or her game, which means to stay updated with all the latest media, social media features which is coming in. I think I think it's been here for ten years, and in the last ten years, blogging has really scaled as a career. In the next five years, I see blogging replacing journalism. Um, not wholly but a part of it uh, celebrity endorsements huge because there was a recent article in economic times as uh, brands are hiring social influencers like us over celebrities because we are able to impact the readers a lot more so if we are being able to do that that power has come in already i see blogging really scale up in the next 5 years three five years down the line i see it moving to you know blogging or video blogging or youtube people anyway have you know the the what is it called attention period or you know the time people take to read uh, i don't think people have that much of patience anymore and slowly everything is going to move into visual media